So I'm a gastroenterologist, which means I treat uh, patients who have digestive diseases and conditions. One condition that I'm most passionate about treating and preventing is colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer disproportionately affects vulnerable populations, particularly those of low socioeconomic status and African Americans. African Americans have the highest incidence and in mortality of colorectal cancer. We're meeting at the point of diagnosis instead of prevention. And I recognized that I needed to be more involved in the prevention aspect of it, to try to prevent those people from coming into the hospital and even coming into my office. One of my major focuses at the School of Public Health is health policy and understanding how to devise and disseminate policies that particularly impact vulnerable populations, but also health care for all. I'm also involved in a practical project where I'm working with the Department of Defense. And in this project, I'm working with the National Center for Telehealth and Technology to understand how they can expand their telehealth services. Telehealth is a means by which a provider can connect with a patient remotely through video conferencing, telephone, home monitoring. And this is particularly important as we're trying to, again, reduce costs, improve quality of care, and extend access. And we can still reach populations in, in rural areas through these mechanisms and technologies such as telehealth. I consider Harvard School of Public Health to be the epicenter of public health. It's not uncommon that I'll be in a conversation with students or faculty who are really blowing my mind with the ideas that they have for improving health care for all. The network is so rich that it attracts leaders from around the world. I mean, I think about some of the people that I've met. I shook hands with the Prime Minister of Namibia. I had a dinner with Dr. Jonathan Woodson, who's the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Health Affairs. I met with Valerie Jarrett, who's the policy advisor advisor for President Obama. And this is something that happens on a regular basis. I don't know anywhere else where you can get such a very rich experience. When I think about what public health means to me, I return to one of the comments that Dean Frank made during the welcoming exercises. And he said to the students, public health is not a discipline. It's an anticipatory action, being prepared to deal with and prevent problems. If I'm going to be an advocate for my family, for my patients, I have to be an advocate beyond just the clinic visit, beyond just the point of the office meeting. I have to be an advocate for prevention. And that's the kind of legacy that I'd like to leave.